Hello and welcome back to Trailmakers. Um, earlier today, my very patient wife sat through me going on about the current challenge and I realized or remembered that that's exactly what I had created this channel for. Instead of inflicting that on my wife, I can share it with you. So uh, here we are back in the um, Oasis to show you what I've got so far. I've got three ideas that uh, I would like to do that I'm having a hard time deciding between partly because the one that I want to do most is the one giving me the most trouble. Okay, here's a good spot. So the first the one that I really want to do Oh, come on, stop that. I hate when it does that. Okay. Is this one right here? Which is five little mine, aerial mines, each with distance sensors to find things and then dynamite to blow them up. And these are supposed to propel them all into different directions. These hinges should make a perfect circle of sensors around each one. But instead, I get this. Oh, well, one of them blew up kind of near something. But as you can see, they don't stay circular. I don't know if it's because I'm propelling them or if it's just something with the hinges or what. That's the one. Oh, nice. One of them came back down. That's what I would like to submit for the self-destruction challenge. But I have others that are actually working, at least mostly. Now this one, as you can tell, is a hovercraft wrapped with dynamite. These sensors let it track left or right uh, to go find something to blow up. And I discovered it will actually bounce off of things <laughs> and not blow them up. So I added these anchor pins. And I also have a speed sensor that if it ever stops moving, it blows up. So off it goes. Look, it looks like it's going to go try and kill a tree or a rock or something, but. Yep, yeah, there it goes. And away! And it works alright, but it can't climb steep things like that mountain. And uh, it moves so fast that it doesn't always track things. So from there, I decided to slow it down a little bit. It made this kind of cool looking truck. In, uh, coincidentally, my wife's favorite color. And it's functionally the same as the hovercraft, except that it has wheels and um, it's also heavier it goes slower because they use raw engines but that also means there's pretty much nothing it can't climb with four raw engines so it can actually climb up hills and get to the shield generators and turrets on top of them or on top of rocks and it likewise has a sensor that if it stops moving it blows up and also if there's a anything directly in front of it. Two of the sensors are set to really close range. So if it senses things with those, then it detonates. Now, the most spectacular one I have so far is way, it's the most complicated thing I've ever built. Um, and it's not on this folder, it's back in my route. Okay, so this thing is, I'm pretty sure the most complex thing I've ever made is 636. It initially retracts all of these um, pistons, of course, and starts as a nice tight little ball. And the sensors all around it 
actually hinge back and forth to so I can get a better field of view with fewer sensors. Uh, I think I got that idea from Yuzi, but I'm not sure. I got it from somebody on here, so whoever it was, thank you, because I've used it in a lot of things, including the two previous vehicles, and it's been very helpful. So it goes up here. I can set my maximum and minimum altitudes, which that's where I want it. And save with the new timing. And now it goes up to the altitude I told it to, and it sits there. There's a time delay on it. It won't arm for two seconds after taking off. Of course, you can set that to whatever number you want if you're using it. But then here's the problem of it. It seems to me like it's right there, but it's just not triggering. Um, this particular sandbox, you can't fly. So I can't just jump up and see but it looks like I need to make it go higher well get back down here or not well that one's just gonna stay floating apparently <laughs> oh change this one no change this one to 300 this one staying at 300 is not an issue. It just stops it from climbing anymore. And away it goes. Oh, and then the first one saw it and blew it up. <laughs> That's my luck. Okay. Try that again. This one is definitely the most dramatic when it goes. And I don't know why it does that. It just keeps on going sometimes. Other times it does what I tell it to. Um, like a lot of people, um, logic has been kind of hit and miss with me in the last month. So I don't know if it's I messed up or the game is glitching. But either way. Alright, so let's set this then to 275. And see if that's going to work any better. See, I already have some sensors lit up, but it's not exploding. Come on, explode for me, please. And then when it actually does detect something, it expands back out to full size and then blows up. And it's just uh, spectacular to see when it decides to function. Boom! And there you go. But that one, as you can see, I have trouble getting it to trigger properly. But it is the most um, explosive, the most impressive explosion of the the four concepts. So. Uh, tell me what you think. If I, I want to go for the a bunch of small aerial mines, or the one big one, or the hover car, or the truck. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.